and welcome back to another episode of Camp Funko. And, uh, yeah. Today we are reviewing a thing that I have been wanting to review for so long now. It Trust is, me, I know. It is the Merciless Batman statue made by DC themselves. And the Merciless Batman pop figure from the 80th line. And, uh, yeah. I think we're gonna start with the statue because it's that's, that's the best part. Yeah, that's what's on the turntable. Like as soon as I saw the pop figure, I'm like, "Wow, this looks cool!" And then I saw the statue, and then I'm like, "That blows the pop figure right out of the water." Look at this beautiful piece of merchandise. That is that is gorgeous. Keep in mind, they had to metal cast that. Yeah, thing. just like the just like the metal casted um th these things in the front. Uh, but, except this is much better because it's actually... And it comes with actual chains. Yep, those are those are real chains, or at least some of them are. Yeah. And, uh, the stand, the sword, and the figure itself comes... They're, they're all separate pieces. So, I'm not gonna take any of them off, sadly. But, I'm just gonna explain each one of them, because they look cool just like this. Like, I, I think they look less cool, like, by themselves. So, Wow. Where do I start? Because there's so many cool things about it. Well, start with the helmet, first of all. Yeah, the helmet, um, I forgot to mention, this is a, this is a part of the Bat Dark Knight Metal series, where it's uh, just a crossover series, and this is Wonder Woman x Batman. And, uh, all y'all Wonder Woman fans out there, this, you might recognize the sword and the helmet, because the helmet is actually the villain's helmet Ares, or Air I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> but that's the God Killer Sword, and that's Ares' helmet. It has corrupted the Dark Knight to make him evil. Mm. Rocking into our world from the pages of the Dark Knight's metal comes the Bloodthirsty Merciless, a nightmarish fusion of Batman and Ares. This member of the Dark Knights is a supremely powerful warmonger taking all the best tactical skills of Batman and pairing them with the might of Ares. That's what it says on the back of the box. Yeah, yeah we're not plagiarizing, guys. I and don't doubt, I, like, all of that, like, it even has a bunch of praise about the figure. Uh, this is, uh, an 8.46, uh, I don't know what the double thing stands for, but I'm... Inches. Just, inches. Or eight, centimeters. 8.46 centimeters. Or inches. Nope, wait, I, don't, I don't know math. Our brains are all over the place from the last video. But, yeah, this is an amazing figure. All the way down to the paint job and the details on I the... I love the shadowing they did. The shadowing's awesome. The texturing is awesome. Everything's awesome about this. They even engraved the crap out of that sword. Yeah. Like, what do you have to say about this, Chase? I think it's overall very cool. It looks like... Nightmare. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like this looks. So it looks like peekaboo. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a, just a ma magnificent, magnificent. Well, I am going to. Put this was an expensive statue. Yeah, this too. was very. When it first expensive. came out, how much was it? Like eighty five dollars. Wow. That's that. Yeah, it was super, super expensive. Well, let's get into Funko stuff now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we we just decided to add in, because this is a super cool symbol altogether, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Uh, yep. This is the, yeah, this this is the pop figure from the 80th anniversary line. Which was, I'm assuming last year was Batman's yeah, 80th. And, um, I'm just gonna... Wait, gonna is this a bobblehead or a vinyl figure? It is a vinyl figure. Oh, man. That would have been so cool if it was a bobblehead. Wow! The statue blows this out of the water. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for the turntable. The statue blows this out of the water, but just this this is just super. I love cool. the metallic on that thing. Yeah. Uh, this is a Hot Topic exclusive, and uh, to my knowledge, these are still available. Yeah, they're not that hard to get. But I still love I love the merciless Batman design. Yeah, it's, that's a really cool. You know what I? You know what I notice? The the bat ears on his helmet, or the bat quote unquote wings on his helmet, are a different design than the statue. Yeah, I just noticed. Yeah, they're a slightly different design than the statue. 
sadly, this doesn't have that much detail on it because, like, well, I mean, I guess because there's only so much, there's only so much detail that can be put into a pop figure because it's supposed to look like super stylized, as the old pop figure said. But yeah, it's it doesn't have that as much detail as the statue. Yeah, like all the engravements on the statue are just printed here. But yeah, yeah. I I still think this looks like a pretty fantastic figure. I like how the eyes are red and they're smaller than usual pop figures eyes. And um yeah, is is that basically everything? Like did we review everything? Yeah, I I think so. Uh, I mean, besides the box, this box looks cool. And uh yeah, that that's it. Um yeah. short video, guys. Yeah. Probably one of our shortest. Um we're going to wrap this video up. And, uh, yeah, this is Kai and Coda from Camp Funko, along with our guest, Chase. And Coda's gonna pull the trigger just for funsies. Copy!